Hello, my name is Richard Weitz. I'm a senior fellow and director of the Center for Political and Military Analysis here at the Hudson Institute. Today, uh, November 15th, is a few days after it appears we've finally got an Iraqi government. It's been uh, since the March elections, there's been a protracted struggle among the factions in Iraq to form a government. The, the way the election results turned out, we had a series of parties, none of which was close to majority, and it took them a long time. It's still not clear if the coalition will hold, but we're, it, it's possible. And then they've got three very important areas they need to address, the political reforms, the economic conditions, and the security forces. In terms of political reforms, we've got a problem in that the, uh, the electoral process now has shown certain flaws. Uh, for example, there is no mandate that the current incumbent has to leave office by a certain time. So there is an incentive for the, the, the present Prime Minister, Prime Minister Maliki, to stay on uh, indefinitely and not reach a coalition. There also needs to be a better division of power. You, it's too, there's too much power con uh, concentrated in the hands of the Prime Minister, and so everybody wants that position. We need to actually distribute the power a bit more widely, perhaps to the presidency, to the parliament, and this new chair of this National Security Commission. Um, in terms of economics, that's really going to be very important. If you cite the polls, most people express dissatisfaction with the economic conditions, and at some point that's going to negatively redound on support for democracy. They, there needs to be a hydrocarbon law to further encourage investment by, to get the oil industry reviving. That's really going to be key for the long-term health of the economy. That's really where Iraq's strength lies is in the oil industry. Um, and there needs to be a way to distribute revenue uh, to the various local provinces and so on. Finally, in the security area, uh, we've got a series of problems. The, the government uh, has the security forces, the army and the police, are capable now of preventing an insurgency in the sense of the, the opponents are not able, as they were even a few years ago, to control large parts of the country and basically have that a no-go area. The, the Iraq government pretty much can control any territory it wants. So the, the problem is we've still got all these terrorist bombings, um, and that's killing a lot of civilians and, and negatively affecting people's um, conditions. Uh, over the long term, Iraq wants to develop the capacity to be able to defend its own borders, and that's going to take some time. But in the interim, perhaps the main concern is that the government security forces may split along factional or sectarian lines. Siite, Shun, Sunni, various com war command uh, commanders, localities, you could think of possible divisions. And that's the way the forces have been put together in the last few years. They've basically got a lot of overlapping authority. In it. So what they need to do is actually, through the legislation, perhaps through ch and other measures, basically reform the security structure, uh, make it integrated, eliminate redundancies that aren't needed, and basically put in a better footing. And in particular, the police forces are, are, are weak. They need to be strengthened, because right now you've got the army forces doing checkpoints, uh, searches, and so on. It's really a function of the police. So you want to get the army out of that and get the police focusing on those kind of efforts. Uh, it, the United States still has a role in this process. We've, uh, U.S. forces remain for at least another year, unless they're extended. Uh, they'll leave at the end of next year. Uh, but beyond that, there's a, a framework agreement that allows the United States to cooperate very intensely in, in, at a State Department or civilian leadership level. So the, the State Department takes charge of police training. Uh, the, the various uh, the economics ministries will be supported from the United States and so on. So the United States can really can help this process, but it's really going to take a strong effort on the part of the Iraqis themselves. But I think we can perhaps be hopeful that the, the government uh, that was finally formed will be able to address these tasks. Thank you so much.